To swim faster, you need to create a stronger support. In our swimming camps, some people have a good technique but cannot accelerate. They have one constant speed. After a very careful analysis, we discovered two very subtle skills that can help you swim faster. The first thing is shoulder shrug. A shoulder shrug is basically pulling your shoulder closer to your ear. In swimming, when you pull your arm, you do an upward rotation of the scapula. As you move your arm down, you release the shrug. The problem is that it's not a linear movement. You don't just shrug and unshrug if you want to swim faster. You need to keep your scapula up as you anchor your hand and forearm down. Let me explain that again. As your hand moves from above your head to out and down, your shoulder should be close to your ear. If by the time your hand is pointing down, your scapula is downward rotated, you will have a very weak support in the power phase of the stroke. I feel like that wasn't clear enough. I'll use another method to explain this even further. A Aaron is no longer a beginner swimmer. He knows how to keep balance, use his legs correctly, hold the rotation, bend the elbow, breathe quickly, and do the S-shaped pull. When he's swimming next to Belake, he cannot keep up. They are both doing almost the same movements, but Belake knows something that A Aaron doesn't. He knows how to set an early vertical forearm before pulling back quickly. A Aaron just pulls his hands back as quickly as he can. If we slow things down, we can see that Belake slowly puts his forearm in place first and then accelerates the movement of the arm. A Aaron just pulls the arm at the same speed. Out of all the most common swimming mistakes, this is probably one of the most difficult ones to correct. This drill called sculling helps. It will make A Aaron feel the initial part of the stroke instead of rushing it. It also helps to improve the feel of the water while maintaining a shoulder shrug. Swimming butterfly would be a great exercise to help him accelerate the arm once it is properly set up. But his Ironman competition is in two months and he doesn't have time to learn and perfect the butterfly swim. So we recommend swimming with paddles like in the past video but focusing on the diagonal power phase of the stroke. Outside of the water we advise doing pull-ups and strengthening the scapular muscles with this drilling video by Scales and Teeth. The other skill that can make you swim a lot faster is streamlining the lower body. As you know, most of the propulsion in long distance freestyle swimming comes from the arms. The legs play a major role in slowing people down. We talked about how difficult it is when they sink, but it is equally important that they remain in line with the torso, otherwise they will be creating a lot of resistance from both sides. To keep the legs in line, you need to slightly tighten your core muscles. Try to make yourself long like we talked about in the beginning of this series. Now that A. Aaron started to pull more effectively with a shoulder shrug, his body will use his hand as a pivot point. If the core is not tight, the body will simply wrap around the pivot point. A. Aaron is basically a cooked spaghetti. If the core is tight, especially on the opposite side of the arm pulling, the legs become the keel that will help you move fast. The keel is this fin that extends downward from the boat. It helps maintain the direction of the boat when the wind is pushing it diagonally. You didn't need to know that, but it might help you visualize the function of the legs and core while pulling. You need to keep the hips straight from this angle. Remember that they do rotate on the x-axis, but they should not move from one side to the other. It took a air on a couple of tries, but once he got it, he moved faster than ever. He kept up with Belake's speed, although Belake was just cooling down. As you can see, a Aaron looks good underwater. Above the water, his arms still need a lot of improvement. Click on this video if you want to learn how to do a clean entry with the hands. If it's not available yet, click here to subscribe. If you want to do a dryland video with us, click here. Or if you want to visit our webpage, click here. See you there, swim fast.